On June 22, 1949, in Summit, New Jersey, one of the most nominated actresses in history was born. Her birth name is Mary Louise, but you might know her better as Meryl Streep. The New York Times has called her the best screen actress in the world, holding the record number for both Oscar and Golden Globe nominations. Over a long career of 30 years, she continues to dominate the silver screen while remaining active in charity causes. Let's take a deeper look into this living icon in movie history. Meryl was the oldest child and had two younger brothers, Harry and Dana. At an early age, she showed an interest in acting, often pretending to be members of her family to see what it was like. As a teenager, she was very self-conscious, refusing to wear her much-needed glasses and overcome with the yearning to dye her hair blonde. In high school, she finally joined the cheerleading squad and got out the hydrogen peroxide. She was very involved in activities including theater, where she spent countless hours in the auditorium learning lines and attending rehearsals, as well as student government, National Honor Society, and becoming homecoming queen. After graduating high school, she attended Vassar College for her bachelor's degree in drama. It was during university I paid for my uh, scholarship. I got a scholarship at the uh, School of Drama at Yale, and I paid for that with waiting on tables. Her film debut was in Julia, where she played a small supporting role, and the following year she was nominated for her first Oscar in The Deer Hunter. The next few years were unbelievably successful for Streep, earning her two Oscars in four years and a marriage to her longtime husband, Don Gummer, in late 1978. Since then, Streep has graced the cinemas in over 45 movies and many nominations. Although many are in awe of this record, she herself feels differently about the subject. Bon appétit! You have to realize that I've been nominated so many times for various things, and I have lost so many more times than anybody else on the face of the earth. However, she keeps coming back to walk the red carpet anyway, despite her losses and those fierce fashion police. We met up with Meryl at a local theater to learn more about her career. She shared with us some of her experiences in the film industry and her technique for getting into character. What do you think are the qualities of a good director? Well, the best ones are hideously overprepared. I mean, they, they know the material, they know everything about um, their own personal connection to the story, they have one. They're um, very, very prepared. Or if they're not, they convince you that they are. That's very important because you must feel trust and you must feel safe and you must feel that you can make all the mistakes in front of, in front of her or him and they will uh, <coughs> fix it in the editing. People say that all the parts you play are you in some shape or form. Is that how you find the humanity in them? I think the, the response that you have when you first read a script is the most, the most honest one and the one that is sort of undeniable. So I, I always would say I picked things to do, reading scripts, by when and if my heart started to race at a certain moment. An actress with a career of over 30 years and 16 Oscar nominations may appear to be reaching her end, but Meryl Streep is quite the opposite. She continues to make blockbuster hits at the age of 61 and has no plans of stopping anytime soon. Although she would never admit it, she is paving the way for great actresses to come.